Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. This is a very sad one. Um, and we're just sending out the message in case you know any of these family members. Please let them know, they are, know that such a thing has happened. Uh, Christmas Eve tragedy. Four dead, many injured in a do multiple clash. You know, this happened in a do state. Um, it, I mean, there's multiple clash and it's really sad. No fewer than four people died traveling on the, you know, just in the eve of celebration on Thursday and lost their life in a fertile multiple road crash, you know, along the Bini Ekboma Abuja Highway in Edo State. This is rather really sad, but we just felt you need to know so that, you know, we kept telling, we kept saying at Apple Line Media, if you don't need to travel, if you don't need to go out, please, could you stay put? You know, we send our condolences to those who may be going through a mourning season at this time. Let's understand all that happened. No fewer than four passengers traveling during the celebration period on Thursday lost their lives in a fertile multiple road crash along the Benin Ekboma Abuja Highway in Edo State. The clash which occurred near Ogbage community, an area of the state, involved an 18 seater commercial bus, an articulated truck, and a Toyota Siena car. Other passengers were said to have also sustained various degree of injuries in the process. According to a passenger who was traveling in a Toyota Sienna car behind the Ekboma bus, the bus driver was trying to avoid a pothole on the road when he had a head-to-on-head -head collision with an antique truck loaded with baskets of tomato coming from the opposite direction. He explained that following the crash, the bus fell off the road while the Siena ran into it. When contracted, the Edo sector commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Mr. Henry Badmos, confirmed the incident. He attributed the crash to overspeeding, dangerous overtaking on the part of the commercial bus vehicle driver. So this was what happened and it's really sad, to be very honest. It's really a very sad one. Uh, but we need to bring it up to you so that, you know, you can tell your friends and loved ones, family members out there, if you don't need to travel, please, can you not travel, please? If you don't need to go out, please, can you stay put? Like, seriously, this is rather unnecessarily. This, you know, some of those drivers, they do not take, they do not, they just go a ahead they just drive. They don't even mind what is, you know, going on. They just go on speeding. Just go on speeding. They don't care that, you know, it's human being they are carrying. Just because of a pothole. Again, what are we talking about? The road safety officer is blaming the driver. Of course, the driver has his fault on his part. However, why do our roads have pothole? Road in Nigeria, today's 21st century. Oil producing nation still has pothole that the driver was trying to dodge. Do you know if you go to advanced countries, there is always roadworks going on, and you are wondering what is this roadworks? Roadworks, always roadworks going on. Why? They want to ensure that their roads are up to standard, meeting the required the requirements, and are living up to the expectation of the general public. You know, I mean, it is a very tr sad occurrence that we keep allowing this to happen. Things that could be avoided are not avoided. Things that could be avoided are just, you know, are just left unattended. Now, these people have lost their life. How do we, how do we, what, what, what do we say to the families? How do we explain this? What has just happened? People traveling, people, you know, going from one place to the other. 
and this has happened. You know, you people that have lost their life now, you we've, we've not even heard all about them. We don't know whether they have families, whether one of them, their wife just had a child. We don't even know. We don't know if they are the breadwinner of their family, what they were going for. Maybe it was an important engagement. Maybe it was all it's, it's just it's, it's just unavoidably they just have to go. You know, it's it's really a very sad thing that this is happening and our government, nobody can be held responsible. You know, overseas, in developed countries, if something goes wrong, do you know that they always, they bring it back to the table and the house will deliberate and somebody will be held responsible. Who we are those who we are supposed to monitor, to see to it that the road was in good standing, working order so that the road is motorable. Who are those who should make sure that before the road gets to that level, it has been done. Mm -hmm. In this country, listen, we make our roads a dead trap, yet we call them Baba after you, now you. We hail them. These people are not doing anything for us. They go about building mansions for themselves, their families, you know, spending money mm -hmm. as if the money belongs to them. This is the money that should be used to develop our roads. This is money that should be used to facilitate growth and development. Make our schools, make our schools a place where children could go to and, you know, have good education. Yet it's not done that way. Some people rather squander the money or keep it for themselves. And yet nobody is held accountable. Unless we, you know, we, we begin to take a, hold these people to account. I am sorry. Nothing much may really happen, it, and it's a sad reality, but it's the truth. Nothing more may really happen. Maybe we are rushing for an interview, or they just have to be somewhere, you know, and this has just happened. This is really sad. This is not a good position or a good place to be, especially at this time of the year. Just imagine what, what, what the family will, will be going through to hear that such a thing has happened to their son, to their daughter. Four people have lost their life. You know, less, not, nothing less than four people and others seriously injured. Please, let's be careful. Please, let's be careful, please. Hmm? Who don't die, not the George case, or now they are alive, the George case. I beg, eh? Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. So you can always get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.